Hello there, my name is Richard McMahon from the interview training company, PassMyInterview.com. And in this tutorial, I'm going to help you to pass a Band 7 interview for the NHS. Now, this tutorial is relevant to all Band 7 roles within the NHS. Um, in particular, I'm going to provide you with a number of sample interview questions for Band 7 roles, and more importantly, suggested high-scoring answers. So please do stick around and watch the tutorial from beginning to end, and because I do feel it will make a big difference to your preparation. Now, welcome to this training tutorial. Before I get into those questions and answers and the tips, my name is Richard McMahon. I'm a form, uh, former fire officer, and I've been helping people to pass their interviews for over 20 years now. And I do that by specifically giving you top scoring answers that you can't find anywhere else. Please do subscribe to the channel by clicking the red button below the video, and please do give the video a thumbs up. I would very much appreciate that. It always motivates me to create more content for you. Now, in preparation for your Band 7 interview, it's very important that we make sure you focus on demonstrating the following competencies. Okay, you're going to be assessed against a number of competencies which will be embedded within the job description for your particular NHS Band 7 interview. So you have to have outstanding communication skills, you have to demonstrate leadership abilities, also be able to develop yourself and develop other people, which is called personal and people development, um, have an understanding of health and safety and also security. Um, quality and diversity is, for me personally, at the top of the list. That's really, really important. Decision-making and problem-solving skills, obviously a total commitment to quality care and also working with others within the NHS, within your department and the wider organisation as part of a team. So those are the competencies that we are going to focus on during this particular training video and in respect of the answers that I'm going to come on to right now. Now obviously band 7 positions are senior and they're high level within the NHS so make sure you do plenty of preparation and I recommend that you prepare your answers to these and other questions that are going to come right now. So question number one, why do you want to work in the NHS within this band 7 position? So why do you want to work within the NHS in this particular position? Here's my suggested answer. I want to work in the NHS within this band 7 position because the level of responsibility that comes with the role is something I will not only feel comfortable with, but I will also be able to carry out my duties to an exceptional standard. Now, the NHS is an outstanding organisation that contains some pretty amazing people. And to get the most out of those people, it requires managers and leaders who are both inspiring and motivating. Now, over the years, I've been working extremely hard to not only deliver the values and the mission of the NHS consistently, but I have also been working on my own self-development to ensure I can match the expectations of this particular Band 7 role. So in my view, that's a solid answer. It's positive in nature and it demonstrates your level of intelligence for that particular Band 7 role. Next question, describe a time when you demonstrated a commitment to the trust's values or behaviours. Now, there are obviously the uh, general NHS values. My advice is to make sure you study your particular trust's values to make sure they are in line with what's coming right now. So here's my suggested answer. I was attending an interdepartmental meeting to discuss NHS trust policy and the strategic vision moving forward. Now, during the meeting discussions, I felt we were starting to veer away from the core trust values, primarily because everyone had different priorities and genders. So I stopped the meeting and reminded everyone that although we all come from different departments within the NHS, we should all be working towards one mission. And that in order to achieve that, we needed to focus discussions on the trust's core mission, which is we are here for you. Now, following my contribution, everyone agreed it was important to get discussions and plans back in line with what we're all meant to be focusing on, the core NHS trust values. So the important thing there, where it says describe a time when you demonstrate a commitment to the trust values, is you have to give a specific scenario, a specific situation you were in. So I'm giving an example of there where being in a meeting, and I feel that we're veering away from the NHS trust core values. So that answer demonstrates you know the values and you are getting everybody within the team to, to remember that they should be focusing on them. Next question, within this Band 7 NHS position, what experience and knowledge do you think you need to perform the role competently? So let me just repeat that. Within this Band 7 NHS position, what experience and knowledge do you think you need 
to perform the role competently. <clears throat> Excuse me, and here's my suggested answer. Having spent lots of time researching the role in the department, I would need a significant range of skills, qualities and experience. More notably, I would require experience in all of the core values that are relevant to the NHS Trust, strong negotiation and influencing skills in order to persuade my team to share the same vision that I have, knowledge of NHS procedures and methodologies that are all relevant to the role, experience in conflict and dispute resolution, experience in using data and information to improve patient services and care, experience of dealing with difficult, problematic and stressful situations, experience of managing, inspiring and leading people, and also experience of risk assessments and performance management. Now, whilst there are other important areas too, these are the main areas of competence I would need to be proficient in to perform my duties in line with the position. So my advice <clears throat> is to study the person specification for the role that you're applying for and have a look at which areas are going to be assessed at the interview. But I've done some research for you and for band seven position, they are the ones that I would personally recommend you prepare for. Now, I've got two more questions to cover, band seven questions. Please do stick around. Um, and watch them. But if you want to download my full set of band seven interview questions and answers, there's a link that's appeared in the top right hand corner. And um, if you go through to my website by clicking that link, you can then have a look at the rest of the questions and download the answers to help you prepare for your interview. Here's the next question. Whilst working within this band seven role, what are the most important things to concentrate on? So it's your understanding of the role and what you have to do whilst working within the NHS. Here's my answer. The most important things to concentrate on are the delivery of the NHS Trust's values, the competencies and responsibilities within the job description, and also ensuring all staff I would be responsible for are inspired and motivated to do their jobs to the best of their abilities. Now, if I'm successful, I will personally ensure that all staff demonstrate a commitment to quality of care, show compassion, respect and dignity in everything they do, whilst also working together for patients in order to provide outstanding care and improving lives through education and support. Now, the competencies and behaviours are also another fundamentally important aspect of the role, and I will need to plan and organise effectively, lead and inspire my team, use effective communication and interpersonal skills to build relationships, and also use an analytical approach to all patient data and information I receive. It's a role I feel I can excel in due to the fact I have the necessary competencies, skills and experience. So that's another great answer to a difficult question. Now, here's a hard one. One of the most important competencies required to carry out this band seven position is that of change and improvement. How would you ensure those people you're responsible for within the NHS adapt to the constant changes we are all experiencing? So obviously change is very important within the NHS. As I said in one of the previous answers, um, lots of amazing people who work in the NHS, they don't get enough credit um, and praise for the work that they do. And not many people who are not working in the NHS understand the stress and the pressure of having to go through constant changes and different improvements. And it takes a re, you know a unique set of skills to embrace change and adapt with them positively. So within a band seven position, you are partly responsible for helping people to embrace that change. So here's my answer to that question. First and foremost, change is a very important aspect of the NHS and it is important. Everyone understands it and more importantly, how to embrace it positively. I would hold regular meetings with my staff to talk over any proposed changes and to explain to them the reasons for the change and also the benefits the changes will have to our patients whom we are serving. I believe resistance to change primarily comes from fear and a lack of understanding as to why the change is being implemented. It would be my responsibility to ensure all staff within my team or department understand the need for the specific change the benefits of it, and also how we can all collectively embrace it for the wider good of the NHS organisation. So that shows you understand the importance of change and also how to sell it to people who you, whom you're working alongside, you know, explaining the benefits of it and why you have to do it, because it's very easy to lose sight of the importance of change. So if you want to download all band seven, please do click the link below the video or go to my website, passmyinterview.com, and you can have a look at my full set of suggested band seven interview questions to prepare for and i've got the detailed answers for you as well right there hope you've enjoyed that if you've got any questions stick them in the comments section below and i'll be more than happy to answer them for you other than that you know i wish you all the very best in your pursuit to passing your band seven interview and i hope you have a brilliant day don't forget to subscribe and please hit the like button thank you very much